Good evening students and hi this is Shumiran sir and welcome all to class 6. So today I am here to teach you map pointing skills. So this time a new subject is introduced in your syllabus that is social science and as you know it has three parts that is geography, history and political science. So today I will not go through your chapters. Today I will only discuss about the map pointing. So from geography we will discuss about the map pointing. From history also there will be map that will be done in another class. Today we will go through the map pointing of geography. So social science, geography, map pointing skills for class 6. So first of all you have to know that what is map? A map is a diagrammatic representation of an area of land or sea showing physical features, cities, roads, etc. So in simple term, you can say that map is a two-dimensional representation on a flat piece of paper or any flat object. You have seen the globe. Globe is a miniature representation of the earth. It is a three-dimensional representation. And map is a two-dimensional representation. So all these things about your map, all are there in your book, chapter number four of geography. Okay, but today I will not discuss what is map, what are its uh, different types of scale. Today we will only focus on the map pointing skill. Okay. So now let us discuss about the syllabus of map pointing. First of all, this year the map pointing syllabus are there only the all the continents of the world and the oceans of the world and all these things you have to point it out in a world map. Okay. So the world map is available in any of the shop, okay, the world political map including few of the latitudes and longitudes are given but now if it is not available in the shop if you have internet from the website you can download any of the map if you have the printer facility you can print it out and do it but first of all you should note down the syllabus so continents what are the major continents of the world Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, Australia or Oceania. So according to size, the percentage of landmass is occupied in the entire world, it is written. So largest continent is Asia, then is Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe and Australia. You can see the percentage of landmass it covers. Okay, this I have given only for your interest, but you have to point it out all the continents in the world map. Antarctica, it is only the one continent where no human life is there. Only few of the research stations are there where from different countries the people are staying over there for research purposes. And all those continents are habited by people. So these are the several continents which you have to point it out. Let us go to the next slide. Now the oceans, five major oceans, you know the, about the five major oceans, what are the major oceans? Pacific Ocean which is the largest ocean in terms of area. Second is Atlantic, now Atlantic Ocean can be divided into two parts, North Atlantic and South Atlantic. Third one is the Indian Ocean, then the Southern Ocean or the Antarctic Ocean. Few of the uh, modern scientists they have, or geologists who have introduced this ocean, southern ocean of the Antarctic Ocean and the last one is the Arctic Ocean. So first three oceans are the major oceans of the world and they occupy maximum water to area of the world. So these five ocean also you have to point it out in the world map. Now here is a world map given where all the continents and the water bodies are highlighted. This is North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia or Oceania 
Antarctica. So these are the seven major continents of the world and the water bodies, the Pacific Ocean, it can be divided into North and the South Pacific, Atlantic Ocean, North Atlantic, South Atlantic, Indian Ocean, Southern Ocean and Antarctic Ocean. So these are the five important ocean. Now how you will point it out in the world map? First of all, you will buy or you will take one world map where all the political boundaries of the continents are given, including few of the latitudes and longitudes may be also given. From there, you will take the color pencil, you will write the name on every continent and you will color it. As well as the same way, you will on the same map, you will highlight all the oceans, you will color in blue all the ocean and write the name over there. And you should use color pencil. No need to use watercolor or any pastel color. You can use color pencil or sometimes if you have the sketch pen with you, you can use sketch pen for coloring and for writing the names on the map, you should use the black pen. Okay, so you just have a focus, you just note it down where you have to do which pointings of your water bodies and the continents. I am also showing you another map. Here, only the continents and the ocean are highlighted. North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia. And the ocean, North Atlantic, South Atlantic, Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean. Here is Antarctic Ocean and here is the Arctic Ocean. So this, you will do it in the map and you will practice it. If you don't have the map book with you now, if any atlas is available with you, you will take the atlas, you can take one guideline from those atlas, so how to do and from there every continents are given. So from there, first of all, you will see and do, then without seeing you will practice and do it. Okay, and according to your choice, you should color, but try to color the continents in light color so that the writings of, of or the name of the continents when you write over it, it is usually, it can be seen easily and all the water bodies you should color in blue color. So in this way, you should practice. These are the syllabus of your pre-midterm examination, map pointing. So if any problem arises, whatever problem, we will solve it in the next classes. So you just, once you note it down, what you have to practice, from this map and as you know nowadays our entire world is under the threat of coronavirus or COVID-19 so all of you stay safe at home don't get out from your house you should stay at home you should go through your books you should go through your chapters as well as whatever map pointing I have given you should practice thank you and have a nice day